Are windshield wipers a scam? In a lot of ways, they really are. But I'm gonna show you how you can save loads of cash the next time you start seeing those dreaded streaks on your windshield. Stay tuned to the end where I'll show two bonus tips to save you even more. First off, when you see streaks, that doesn't automatically mean you need to replace your wipers. I was watching a video from my friend Chris over at Silver Symbol where he teaches us about the power of WD-40 to clean the blades of your windshield wipers. While we usually consider this a fix for hinges and squeaks, Chris suggests using WD-40 on an inside-out sock or a microfiber cloth to remove dirt, debris, tar, sap, and more from your wiper blades since that might be the root of the problem. Now this method tends to be totally free because it uses two things that we typically have around the house already. He also recommends regularly giving the windshield itself a thorough cleaning since dirty glass often contributes to the buildup of streak causing debris on the wipers themselves. Going right along with this, one of our bonus tips at the end addresses the idea that you might not need to replace the blades at all. Real quick while you're watching that, I wanted to let you know I'm in year 13 of doing DIY YouTube videos to try to help people do things themselves. But my goal right now is a million subscribers. I'm close and I want to get there and I think you can help me. Feel free to click on that subscribe button. Once we hit a million, I'll be giving away products, I'll be giving away tools, and I'll be giving away cash to our subscribers. Thanks so much. As you can see here, you might need to go over this process multiple times to get it all the way clean. I've seen products like these before that claim they can be used to actually trim the rubber on your wiper blades to get a fresh and clean edge on them. The concept is pretty simple. Over time, your blade develops these little nicks and breaks that cause the streaking on the windshield. In order for the wipers to work effectively, there needs to be one smooth and uninterrupted edge dragging along your windshield. No nicks or bumps means no streaks. There are a bunch of these wiper blade trimmers out there, but the reviews, they are not so great. However, I did start noticing a little pattern or a little trend in the reviews. A lot of folks were saying that the bad reviews are from people who are just doing it wrong. You have to do the whole blade in one clean swipe in order for it to work. So I bought several of these to test and try out myself. Now these blade trimmers only cost around $6 at the cheap side and up to about 20 bucks. And the cool part is that they have two cutting depths. So ideally you can trim each blade twice before having to replace the wiper. Theoretically that means that you could pay as little as six bucks once for one of these tools and make one set of blades last three times as long instead of having to buy three sets of windshield wiper blades. Let's try it out and see how it works. Don't forget to check out our DIY gear and our DIY guides using the links in the description below. Yeah, there we go, shows how bad it is. Okay, time out, little interruption here because I've been doing further testing after using these trimmers on the wiper blades and being a little more thorough about it in terms of its actual real world application. I don't know if I can recommend these. They're okay, they do help and they will kind of put a fresh line on your windshield wipers, but they don't do that good of a job. I'm seeing little streaks and that's exactly what we're trying to avoid. Now they're not terrible and maybe I just didn't do the best job when I tried these a few different times, but I think some of the reviews were pretty accurate. It just still leaves a few streaks here and there and it's definitely not my top recommendation. I'm going to mostly recommend that you use the third method that we're going to cover here. Every once in a while I get a chance to work with a sponsor that I've already known and used for a long time and would recommend anyways and that's the case today with our sponsor BetterHelp. My wife and my son have used BetterHelp a couple of times over the years to help them through tough situations. And basically what BetterHelp is, it's a really comfortable and kind of low risk option for therapy. You can talk to their network of over 30,000 therapists and they'll match you once you fill out a questionnaire. Typically it's going to take maybe around 48 hours to get you matched up with someone that's a great fit for you, which is awesome. So in most cases it's really quick to work that out. The other cool thing is it's on your terms. You can meet with them over the phone, you can meet with them with a video chat, or you can even message them in order to have your therapy that way. Whatever's most convenient for you. And another really cool feature that a lot of people like about BetterHelp is that every once in a while you find someone who you just decide is not a great fit as your therapist. So you can actually switch therapists with the click of a button. So I'm grateful to have a sponsor like BetterHelp that's doing their best 
to help us do our best. To join the over 4 million people who have used BetterHelp to start living a healthier and happier life, you can click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash learn to DIY. Clicking that link helps support this channel and it also gets you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp so you can connect with the therapist and see if it helps you. And now back to those pesky windshield wipers. The third method is to use what are called wiper refills. They're basically these little rubber replacement blades and I didn't realize until I started digging into this that you can actually just type in wiper refills for most years makes and models on your car to find not only an OEM version that's right from your manufacturer like Honda, Toyota, Ford, whatever it may be, but you can also usually get just a cheap replacement one. And I thought I would test one of these out. In fact, I tested this out about 14 months ago on my daily driver. And what I found is it only took me about five minutes to do this. It cost me $2.38 to replace the blade. And so between the two, I was at less than five bucks total investment. And that was 14 months ago. This is the car I drive every single day and it's working perfectly even today. I live in Utah, so we get all the snow, we get the ice, we get the scorching dry heat, we get all of that. And these wiper blades have held up beautifully for five bucks. The crazy part about this is if I were to buy the original or OEM replacement windshield wipers from Tesla, they want $70 plus tax for that. 75 bucks as opposed to under five. It's a crazy deal. Now the one downside is I did order these from AliExpress. Now whether you like AliExpress or not, I thought I'd take a gamble and see. And with that, you have to wait until who knows when for them to actually ship the thing. I swear they give it to a guy in a rowboat and have him row across the ocean. And maybe four or five weeks later it might show up. So there's a little fun in kind of wondering when that thing's going to arrive. But I've got some good news for you there. You don't actually have to wait weeks to get these because you can pick them up right on Amazon for between seven and nine dollars for a four pack. So they're actually even less expensive than the ones I bought over on AliExpress. These are only a dollar 75 per wiper and they show up in just a day or two depending on where you live. So I bought some of these so I can show you how easy it is to replace these. You can do a quick search online to find out what length blades you need for your year make and model of car or just buy the 28 inch ones like I did here. You can cut these with a pair of scissors. They're super easy to work with and trim to length. Now, if you do want to get the OEM or the original equipment manufacturer, then you can actually just type in, for example, Honda 2004 Civic, you know, whatever it is, and original wiper refill, and you're likely going to find one of those. You can buy these directly from the manufacturer if you want to go that route. They're going to cost more than the third party ones, but they're also going to cost way less than buying new wiper blades. I can't in one video really make a guided tutorial for all the different types of wiper blades out there. So what I'd recommend is when you purchase these, you dis assemble it really carefully and slowly, pay attention to how things were assembled in the first place, and then reassemble with your new wiper refills. Most of the time this is going to be really easy and if for some reason it doesn't happen to work out or you can't quite get it, then you're out five bucks. You could also check beforehand doing a little disassembly, a little homework, just to make sure that thing works before you buy those wiper refills. I promised you two bonus tips and I've got those for you now. So you're all familiar with this stuff, right? The windshield wiper fluid that we put in our vehicles. Well, these typically cost maybe about four bucks for a gallon. Not too bad. And that's the basic stuff. If you want to get the rain -X version or if you want to get the bug repellent or the anti-freeze stuff, that cost a little bit more, of course. What if I told you you could get this for seven cents? Legit seven cents, that's how much it costs. So right here is a packet of 100 tablets that I found on Amazon. I've tested these out, this is pretty cool stuff. Think of it as a little Alka-Seltzer for your windshield wiper tank. So let's say you run out of this guy right here. Once you're done, you drop one of these guys in, fill it up with water, let it wait for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then you've got a gallon of windshield wiper fluid for seven cents. That's pretty awesome. The other option is you can actually do the same thing right in the reservoir within your vehicle. You drop one in when it's empty, fill it up with water, wait 15 to 20 minutes, and you're good to use it. That's pretty cool. And my favorite part about that is that you can take these little tablets and just keep maybe five or six of these in your glove box or in your trunk. And that way, if you run out while you're on the go, you just drop one in, add some water. You've probably got some water in your car anyway, and you've got that kind of emergency kit there for you just in case you need it. For bonus tip number two, I'll bet you're familiar with this stuff. This is called rain -X. It's a windshield water repellent and you can use it on all different surfaces actually. But this repellent, basically you apply it onto your windshield and then it helps the water to bead up and then it just kind of rolls off your windshield. This is pretty ideal because it kind of keeps your windshield clean so that you really don't need to use the windshield wipers quite as often, which is awesome. Now this has been around for decades. This is the OG water repellent right here, but I watched a really cool video by Carcraft Auto Detailing and he put a torture test on a windshield. He tested 
tested out six different water repellents on there, and one of the ones I was most impressed with was this little bottle right here. This is called Nexzet, and I'm gonna run the test for you, half the windshield and half unapplied, and show you the results on screen here so you can see what a difference it makes. Now, the reason I like this one over rain -X is because this one lasted way, way, way longer than rain -X and most of the competition. It's a pretty small bottle, and it goes a long ways. You can do multiple applications with one bottle. It's a little on the pricey side. It's about 30 bucks for this little bottle, but it's the kind of thing you get one and then you can use this for really many applications on multiple cars, which is really cool. It's crazy, look at that line. Oh my gosh, whoa. Not sure how well this will come out, but We've got the next set on the windscreen here on the windshield and it's awesome. I don't have the wipers on, the rain is coming down pretty good and I can see everything crystal clear because everything's just beating right off, especially when you're going over about 30 miles an hour. And uh, so that's that's pretty awesome. Not using the wipers and it's working just as you would hope it would. And there's a little clearer shot of what I'm seeing. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. And I always try to set up a nice little Amazon link in the description below so that you can see all of the products that I'm showing here and you'll see all of those in one place. It'll take you right to it. You pick which ones you wanna to add to your cart and off you go. So obviously you can save a few bucks with little products like these that go a long way. I'm all about saving money. In fact, one time I tried to paint my teenager's car for 178 bucks and I gotta say, it was pretty successful. It looked really good and it lasted really well. You can check that video out right over here. Again, help us to get to that 1 million subs if you can. Hit that subscribe button. Hopefully we'll get there sooner than later. I appreciate everyone who's doing that. I'm Nils with Learn to DIY. Thanks for watching.